Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in Albany School District. This is New Scotland Elementary School District. This is 79 Glendale Ave in Albany. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath home. It is just over 1,600 square feet. This is an A-level property. This is a recently renovated property. So everything that you see in there has either been refinished or is completely brand new. So bathrooms are all new. The kitchens are new. There's a lot of hardwood floors in here. Those are still there. Uh, they've just all been refinished. So uh, we'll see all that when we go through the walkthrough. So if you or anyone you know are thinking about selling your home, now would be the time to give me a call. You can head to the end of the video and get my contact information, or you can check my Facebook page and get my contact information there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So we are here today in Albany. This is 79 Glendale Ave in Albany. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath, two story home. It's an A-level property, recently renovated, so everything on the inside has either been refinished or is brand new. So taking a quick walk around the outside, we've got a carport here on the left of the property. This is aluminum siding. No, not aluminum, vinyl. This is vinyl siding. Dirt. <clears throat> we've got a small yard area in the back here. Fenced in on both sides. And then here is the back of the property. All right, so we'll go ahead inside now. So we enter into this porch area. So it's got a front covered porch here. First door through. And then we enter into the main house here. So here is the living room area. The living room, dining room. Kitchen's rather large though. There is an eat-in area in there. So uh, definitely more than one spot spot to eat. So we have the living area here. Hot water radiators throughout the house. There's a fireplace there. Not quite sure if it's functioning honestly. So this would be what would the dining room area be. We got the overhead chandelier here. Heading this way into the kitchen. Kitchen and the back room that we'll go into has all uh, new flooring. This is the laminate interlock flooring. So we've got a gas oven with range, built-in microwave, white tile backsplash, granite countertops, built-in dishwasher there. Overhead cabinets go almost all the way to the ceiling. The actual space stops about six inches short, but no dusting on the overhead cabinets. I like that. My wife likes to put stuff up there. I think that's just silly. Then you gotta clean it. Uh, and the stainless side-by-side -side refrigerator there. And as I mentioned, you got space here uh, to put an eat-in table. So you've got the space over there to put a table if you wanted, but you do also have the space uh, with the living room for a dining room area. And then you have the back area here. That is the side door that we saw in the driveway with those new steps coming in. And then there's the backyard. So this is just maybe a family room perhaps. We got cable hook up in that front left corner there. This again is the interlocking laminate floors. And then off this room, we have the half bath here. With the toilet and vanity, both brand new. All right, so we're gonna head upstairs first. I will hit the basement, just not right now. 
So we got a wooden staircase here. All right, I'll stay here first. So straight ahead at the top of the stairs, we have the first of the secondary bedrooms. Three total bedrooms in the house. Not really a master suite, just one bathroom that, uh, yeah, one bedroom that's larger than the other ones. And then we will hit the second bedroom next, right here. Still hardwood floors in the second floor area. Now we'll hit the full bath, the shared bath on the second floor. So we got laminate flooring in here, the new vanity there, new toilet, and the new shower tub combo insert. This is a deep tub. You can get them in standard or deep. This is a deep one. And then behind the door that we came in, got a shelving unit for storage. Toiletries, towels, and whatnot. All right, so at the end of the hallway here, we have the third bedroom. This is what I would call the master bedroom. It is the largest. It's also got the nicest view. Not quite a bay window in the front right there, but the way they have the walls angled So they have it angled out a little bit to give that kind of bay window effect. Two closets right there. They don't connect, but they do span the full size of the wall. All right, so now we're gonna head upstairs. This is an unfinished attic, but it is uh, easily accessible and definitely usable. This whole attic has been painted not a finishing paint by any means. I'm sure it's just primed, but it has all been painted. So you can see we got a, a solid floor here, solid plywood floor. Don't have to worry about missing a rafter and winding up in the living room. Single chair by the window. Probably a timeout chair. That's what I would say, looks like to me. We've got the radiator up here. Honestly, I don't know if that works. Be pretty cool if it did. Have a little bit of a heated space up here. Although that would require uh, another layer above the roof because you can obviously see that there's no insulation uh, in these uh, empty spaces right here. Which would require another layer of roof above me and no, I can see tar paper there, so that's not, that's not the case. So if you didn't want to heat up here, that radiator could be turned off. It might already be off, like I said, I'm not really sure if it works. But it doesn't seem to be damaged, and if it got cold up there, uh, that would be something that I would expect to pop. All right, so now we will head back downstairs and we will go to the basement. There's a full-size basement and it's not finished. And this is an older style house, so I wouldn't recommend finishing it just because it is shallow, not full headroom. This door here, you can see the cars out there. That is the neighbor's driveway. So that driveway does not go with the house. You do have the door here for an exit, but it goes into the neighbor's driveway. All right. So down here in the basement we have, this is a poured concrete uh, floor. Judging by the age of the house, this is what I would call a rat slab. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it is not level. 
So it's not like it was all poured at one time and they were skimming it to make sure that it all came out flat and nice. That's not the case. Uh, a rat slab is an inch or two inches of concrete that they just pour on the floor. And there is a reason why they call it a rat slab, literally so that animals cannot burrow their way into the basement uh, by digging underneath the wall and coming up through the floor. Um, so I don't really know if that's why they do it anymore, but that's why they started doing it, why they were putting anything down in it at all. Most basements now obviously fully poured. <clears throat> Here's the electrical panel. This is a 200 amp panel here. You can see by the coloration of the wires that most of these wires are new. New enough to be color coded. They didn't always color code the wires. So anytime you see plastic coated wires, it does mean that they're relatively new. The color coding though is much newer. All right, you know how utilities make me excited. So what we have here is the new furnace. So this is a tankless furnace system. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this is a tankless furnace. So it's a very similar furnace to a tankless hot water heater, but they are using the tankless system to provide the heating for the house. So you can see most of the new, very shiny copper lines. You can see the old lines here that have been now connected to copper. This is where the old furnace would have been. Uh, you, probably this area right here. And you can see the exhaust vent there has been filled with uh, fire grade styrofoam, uh, spray and styrofoam. So that is the heating system there. Here's the hot water heater. So they decided not to go tankless for the hot water heater. <clears throat> it's personal preference. When tankless hot water heaters came out, they weren't all that awesome. They weren't able to provide heat, uh, hot water to a lot of the house. Some of that stereotype still exists for people who know what it is, but uh, they've got some new tankless hot water he heaters out there uh, that will really crank out hot water. Here is the laundry area right here. So we have the hot and cold lines, uh, the, electric, the electric for the washer and the dryer hook up there. And up top, currently stuffed with insulation but not spray foam insulation, so eventually made to be removed. Um, that is the vent for the dryer. And then in the back here, we have a general workspace area, workbench. It's got newer outlets in it. So I would say those outlets are live, functioning. They're not too prong. Oh, look at that. It's even got a little drawer built into it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a little difficult to open, but I like built-in drawers and stuff. Oh, oh. Just slides. Could use some uh, drawer slides on that thing. All right, and so that's everything. That concludes the walkthrough. All right, so that's everything. So three bedrooms, one and a half baths, two story home. Uh, as you can see, a level property, everything in there has been updated uh, or refinished. If it was an original feature, uh, that was nice enough to keep, mostly just the hardwood floors. Uh, but a lot of the trim has also been preserved. It's a wider plank uh, trim. It's not really the new stuff. It's an older style of trim. So all of those nice features had been re refinished um, and preserved. All of the other things had been updated to what would be a modern standard. Uh, so yeah, definitely an A-level property. So check the property information page for the most of the day up to mu the <laughs> check the property information page for the most up-to-date information on the property. Any kind of price changes, any special incentives, any virtual open houses, anything like that. That'll all be found on the property information page. Please like my Facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week and anything else that I post on that platform. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel will have all of the videos that I'm doing across every platform, uh, plus a few things that are exclusive just to YouTube. Uh, so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for that. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me. 
and please tune in again next week for next week's walkthrough of the week. Bye-bye for now.